Hi there, it's Rob Hillman here from Easy Training Guides. Today we're actually going to be talking about self-publishing. But before we get started, uh, just a reminder to click on the subscribe button so that you get all the latest videos as we publish them. And also click on the little bell icon so that you get notified uh, new, as new uh, systems, new videos become available. Um, and also, you'll also find a link down below to a new program that will walk you through the complete process of making an ebook, uh, and that's quite good also. But take a look at that after you see this short video. Um, so, why should we self publish? Uh, quite simply because, uh, well, two reasons mainly because one, uh, you can make a reasonable amount of income from Kindle, Amazon publishing on Amazon Kindle, and also you can get your message out there and you can reach thousands and thousands, if not millions of people worldwide. And before I show you exactly how you can go about getting started on Amazon Kindle, um, I'd like to just fill you in on a couple of things that will... Uh, make things a little bit clearer for you as far as uh, income how much money can you make from one Kindle book for instance um, Kindle has a structure whereby uh, you actually can tell Kindle how much money you would like to make how much royalties you would like to make per book um, for instance uh, if you price your book from somewhere between three dollars to ten dollars then you can make as much as 70% royalties on that book. And a lot of my books are, are between $3 and $5. And you may be wondering, uh, is it possible to make money on a book if you're selling it for $5? Well, uh, it's interesting that you ask that because there's a lot of um, publishers out there that are making extremely uh, large incomes from self-publishing and self-publishing with Kindle indirectly simply because Amazon Kindle have millions and millions of uh, customers already out there uh, with their credit cards in Amazon's database and everyone goes to uh, Amazon Kindle with the purpose of looking for a specific book and with the purpose of purchasing that book so um, it may as well be your book that they buy instead of someone else's so um, that's one reason. Uh, another reason is besides the normal royalty rate that you get from uh, selling your book on Amazon, uh, and it's not really, you don't really sell your book as such. It's more that Amazon advertise your book uh, through their normal processes. Um, so it's almost like a, a, a form of passive income once you publish a book. Um, there is a couple of things, of course, that you can do to make uh, things go a little bit faster, but Amazon have a couple of advertising uh, systems built into that uh, uh, platform that make, will make your life a lot easier and get your book out there a lot quicker. Um, uh, so uh, another thing that we're going to talk about is the KDP Select Fund, and which is a second source of income that you can get from Amazon Kindle um, and I remember a few years ago uh, back in well, 2014 I think it was when Amazon Kindle bought in their KDP Select Global Fund and what this fund is is like uh, imagine um, having a slush fund of money of millions and millions of dollars and and that fund is actually going to be distributed to the top 100 performing books on the Amazon Kindle platform. And now, when this program first started, that the KDP Select Fund was uh, about two million dollars. So, two million dollars to to distribute between those top 100 books, um, and. Uh, right now we're at uh, February 2020 and the uh, KDP Select Global Fund for last December uh, was 
$2.2 million. So in that six years, it's gone from $2 million to $26 million. So now there's a massive amount of money in this, in this fund that's being distributed to authors um, who reach that top ranking. So that's just another, it's just like the cherry on top of the cake, I guess. Um, but uh, in the meantime, obviously, uh, let's go back to the $5 analogy. Where is it? Is it worth publishing a book if I'm going to make $5? Wow. Um, well, yes, it is. And back in, I'll give you an example, back in 2016, uh, and I use a specific, before I actually publish a book, I use a specific method that looks at, it's actually a, a Chrome plugin, and I'll, I'll put a link to the plugin in the description down below for those of you who want to have a look at it later. Um, but basically what it does is it interrogates Amazon's Kindle service in real time and tells me uh, on a month-per-month -month basis what uh, each author is making from books in a specific niche so for instance if i wanted to write a cooking book i would type in uh cooking and uh, then i would push my uh, button uh, on the plugin and it would uh, search those the top up to the top 100 books i normally only look at about the top 20 um, and it would search those top 20 books first uh, and it would tell me what author how much money each author is making from each book per month and i did this uh, i used this software in about 2016 i think for the first time so i've been using this software for over four years now and uh, i looked at a uh, a book about jokes so i typed into my software uh, jokes and my software told me that there was a book that was actually written in 2014 called uh, the, I think it was The Best Jokes of 2014, um, was earning about 14,500 US dollars per month. And mind you, this is now in 2016 when I was looking at this particular uh, book. And this book was already two years old, but it was still earning its author. I think the price was about five or six dollars, and it was still earning its author uh, fourteen and a half thousand US dollars per month. Needless to say, now I have a couple of books, uh, joke books on Amazon as well. But now moving forward to 2020, look, it's a lot easier to publish on on Amazon. It's a lot easier to publish a book. Um, it's a simple matter of let's have a look at the, um, we'll go to the uh, Kindle website. If you go to kdp.amazon.com, which is what you're seeing at the moment, uh, it's the Kindle Direct Publishing site. Uh, now, if you already have an Amazon account, then uh, you just click on the sign in button. Um, but uh, this is where you open an account with uh, Kindle and uh, they'll ask you a couple of things. They'll also ask you for banking details and the reason they do that is so that uh, they can actually pay you. Um, so uh, you would click in and sign up and it's it's free for users around the world to sign up obviously and that's one of the other advantages of publishing your book with Kindle. Um, so we go into uh, that's the main Web page. Now, once you've signed up, uh, you will go into your author page and we'll just click on another link. This is an example of an author page. Uh, that's one of my books there that you see. And you can see the bookshelf. Uh, you've got reports, community, KDP Select. That tells you a little bit more about the KDP Select Fund. But, uh, and it shows you there now I'm pointing to create a new title so you have an opportunity to uh, create a new ebook uh, and also there's a paperback option there but we'll talk about that in another video um, but it's simply a matter of two uh, 
published self published a book on Kindle you really only need two things you need one is your obviously your uh, manuscript of your ebook now that could be even just a simple word document and it could be five or ten pages long it doesn't have to be very big you can get your message out to millions and millions of people very quickly this way particularly if you have a business that you wanted to promote um, you know you could write a, a book about uh, the type of products that you're selling and generic you know like the 10 best uh, mousetrap tips in the world or something like that I don't know um, so uh, you have a manuscript of your book which is a simple word all of my books have been made from uh, simple word documents and uh, I've got over 40 books on the Kindle platform at the moment and the second thing you need of course is a JPEG image of your cover but with those two things we'll talk more about covers in another video I'll show you how easy it is to procure those but uh, quite frankly you could go to a site like fiverr.com uh, and uh, get someone to whip you up a cover for about five five or six dollars uh, within 24 hours it's amazing technology is fantastic but I actually have on one of my websites uh, easy training guides and I'll also leave a link in the bottom for you on that one I have all of my premium ebook template covers uh, that are part of that membership and I think it costs you about a dollar to get registered a dollar to, to get started for a, a one-week trial you can download immediately all the all the programs there's over a thousand videos training videos on that site um, but the interesting thing is I've also got all of my premium ebook covers on there so for a dollar you can actually download the entire uh, collection of premium ebook covers it's quite amazing but anyway we I digress I guess so the two things you need we've got your uh, manuscript we've got your cover now to publish that book upload it to Kindle and publish that book it's just a matter of clicking on the add Kindle ebook tab and that will take you okay so sign into your Amazon account here we go again I'll just click on that it's just asking me to confirm and then it will take you to the first page that you need to look at to fill out and it's just a simple matter of what language it is your book title if it has a subtitle if it's a series edition number author very simple stuff uh, description that's quite Im important and also the keywords are also important and we'll cover the specific keywords that you should use in another video I don't think we'll do it in this one uh, I want to keep this fairly short so there's actually about three pages of information that you have to fill out it takes uh, first time probably take you about 12 minutes the second time to upload a book on Kindle it will may take you six or seven minutes so um, and then because so you get basically uh, ebook details ebook content and the Kindle ebook pricing so you actually choose what price you want to charge for that so uh, and then it's just a matter of uh, you upload uh, in this process you upload your document and your uh, cover and then click publish and then normally within 24 hours that book will go live worldwide so uh, and in fact sometimes it's a lot sooner than that I think my record was and this was even on a Saturday although Saturday in Australia is actually Friday in America so um, I published a book at about 3 p.m. one after one Saturday afternoon in Australia and by 6 p.m. that night three hours later that book went live I mean that's an exception not necessarily the norm um, but yes it went live in three hours um, amazing stuff really so there you go look I hope that's uh, uh, giving you some food for thought uh, and obviously uh, there's a few more books on Kindle just look for the uh, the yellow uh, covers the yellow description covers that I have which is concerning all things Kindle I've got some fantastic tips coming up as well how to uh, uh, double and even triple your income from uh, a book 
on Kindle, so uh, look out for those and uh, click on the links below and let me comment what you think. Let me know. I'd love to get your opinion uh, and uh, hope to see you in the near future. See you soon. Take care.